Okay, this is McCook's Mr. Biddle's an honor to have you here. The news says that a father and son are being put in prison for most of five years. They committed arson on federal land. Sounds real bad, don't it? Until you hear the specifics that that father and son had land next to the uh, government land and they were trying to protect it. A lightning strike had started a fire. They made a backburn to try to stop the fire and it was successful. They stopped the fire. They did it themselves. No one helped them out in the middle of nowhere. But the government found out about it. The uh, two men and the burn burned 139 acres of government land. Even the government admitted that it improved the land that they had burned. It was a good thing. At the same time, though, the bureaucracy and the laws that be said it was arson. Five years in prison. It's going to cost us $60,000 a year to keep those two in prison for five years. $300,000 of your tax dollars because two ranchers tried to protect their property. Out here in southwest Nebraska, we have our own problems with government. We had a fire coming up from Kansas. Now I have a work part-time for a ranch for 43 years. And the old uh, rancher, he'd bought a, a fire truck from one of the local towns. And always kept it ready just in case of fire. Because they're a long ways from anywhere. The fire was coming up to the state line about a mile away and coming. When we got there, and uh, with the fire truck, our own farm fire truck, and the uh, we had two tractors coming in behind us that we'd brought from the farm, a couple of 40-foot discs on them to make breaks for the fire, to stop the fire. And we blasted by. There was a rural fire department ready to fight it once it got to the state line from one of the towns. And the... Uh, uh, we went on down the road and we were immediately stopped by the state patrol in Kansas. Now the rural fire department in Nebraska hadn't crossed and there was a reason for it. That state patrolman stopped us and he said that's against the law for you to come over here and fight a fire. And we said, what? It's against the law. You can't come over here. And you're a rural fire department. Well, we had the name of the town and fire department on it, but I said we bought that. It's in private hands now. You want the water or not, you know, and we're trying to help them get them going and fight that fire over there rather than wait till it gets on the ranch over here. And uh, he was ready to put us in jail. He was ready to put us in jail. Arrest us, handcuffed us, put us in jail if he would have. Except the fire chief came up just then. And he uh, said, uh, is that uh, rural or private? And we said, we're trying to tell you, it's private. We own it. And he said, fine, get that water over here and take those tractors and run them, start, you know, making uh, breaks. So we did what he said, and then he turned to the old state patrolman, and he said, this is how it is. He said, if you want to arrest anybody, you arrest me. And if you want to fine any of those people, I'll pay their fine, and if there's any jail or prison time, I'll take that too, and I'll serve their prison time. But you... You go back there directing traffic, Barney. With that in mind, he did what he was told. But the laws are not our friend. The government is not our friend.